What is up YouTube? I'm back with another video. And I got a few cards in from a seller on uh, Facebook, Mr. Ryan Bailey. He had posted some cards in one of the groups and uh, pretty, pretty good prices, I think. I got all three of these cards for less than the price of a blaster. It was right at $21 total shipped to the house and and I was looking at them and I was thinking, well, this, this would be a good thing to use as far as showing what Panini does right in the hobby, in my opinion. I know we get down on them when they make uh, big blunders and stuff. You know, one of them was the uh, autograph notation on some of the prism cards. The erroneous autograph notation on the back of, of some of them. And uh, even tops, they've made big uh, mistakes there. One, one, one lately was the uh, the omission of the actual Babe Ruth autograph, and in the place of it was a George Brett in one of their cuts. I mean, how could you mess that up? But I guess with you know pumping out cards like they do in the big the huge release of Topps flagship in baseball and my god those cards are I don't even know, even know want to speculate on the print run for uh, 2023 Topps flagship but uh, go and get on with this video and talk about some cards that I believe show the strong side of Panini as far as racing cards go this first one this is Kevin Harvick checkered flag insert beautiful cards well done Panini on that just a gorgeous card that I mean that's how you do it that's how you make an insert card there beautiful 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 and next up we've got from the same product Panini Prism, the American flag, stars and stripes. Similar to the Harvick, but with a different background there. That is the Martin Truex Jr. And then one of the great releases that Panini has had as far as racing cards go. I don't think there was, a, you know, an issue from Panini as far as these cards go. I think the majority of them are on-card autographs that you want to get. And that is Panini Prime. Just a wonderful release from Panini there. And that is the William Byron. There. 29 out of 99. Dare I say, probably the best release Panini's ever done. I know you can make a a case for National Treasures, but at the price point that National Treasures is, Panini Prime was a little more affordable for us NASCAR collectors. So, uh, a quick one today on race day, guys. I want to showcase that lot and and show the things that Panini does right. So, I think that lot fits that bill there so guys i thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video